Hi everybody, welcome back to Life After Neverland. Let's get into Big Brother conversation. Thanks so much for tuning in. So if you watched last night's episode, we're gonna touch base there and what we talked about yesterday on our channel. I really felt like things were happening organically in regards to Nicole's vote and how it went down in the house and started to backfire. But what I didn't understand is that Kevin, and I found out in this episode, is that Kevin spoke to Danny about David's plan to do the split vote, which was a huge mistake on Kevin's part and also a huge mistake on Davon's part. Why do Kevin and Davon trust Danny so much? What is it about Danny that Davon trusts trust Danny more than she does someone that she wanted to bring into her own alliance, David. Emotions can take over everything and Devon is very emotional. She just lost Bailey. Now she thinks David betrayed her. But David did get emotional and when David said to Kevin that he's getting emotional if he got emotional, obviously he has a feeling about it. Why can't she trust him? The only problem is David has somewhat sealed his own fate by not aligning with Devon in the very beginning when she was trying to align with him and he said that he was with the guys alliance or he indicated that he was in a guys alliance. He created distrust with Devon. And then the whole thing with trying to pretend that he didn't know who used the disruptor power when it was truly him, created distrust with Kevin. So that was David's downfall. Davon is just literally drinking the Danny Kool-Aid. She's drinking the Danny Kool-Aid. I really wanted to see David come back this season. I was truly looking forward for him to come into the house. I would hate to have to go in to Memphis's room and talk game with him. I would despise it if I was David. For example, the last conversation that we saw on this episode recently where David went up and talked to Memphis, like him saying, if you want to seat at the table, it's just the way he talks to him is like David is a peon. I hate it. I despise it. And Devon is sitting here saying that she has to trust her intuition. Her intuition is freaking off because she's leading with her emotions. Why isn't anyone thinking about Nicole? And maybe she actually lied. David is. The sad part is David is actually making sense and no one's even freaking listening. They don't think highly of David. They don't respect David. That's the problem. He's not a complete and utter idiot, but he also hasn't played this game before. This essentially is David's first time playing BB. He's actually not really an all-star. And these all-stars are eating him alive. And in all honesty, David needs to play BB for a third time, but I don't think David will ever want to come back in the BB house ever again. Devon knows that there's a huge alliance in the house. And like I said before, this is what the problem is with David. If he had not earlier in the game cast a shadow of doubt with Devon in the sense that he's working with the men, he and Devon would not be having these problems. They wouldn't. David is so inexperienced and I feel badly because he has fallen in every single trap possible. On a side note, let's talk about the poor sportsmanship between Cody and Christmas when it came to the have-nots. Give me a freaking break. So here's where we're gonna get into some spoilers. Let's talk about what's been going on since the episode that we just recently saw. There are some people that really like Danny's gameplay. In fact, some of you have made comments that you really like Danny as well. Danny is definitely playing an interesting game. It's different. I always root for the underdog. So what I think is interesting about what Danny is doing, she casts shadows, she plants seeds, she manipulates, she, she takes advantage of people's weaknesses. That's what Danny does. <laughs> so now, here's what's happening. David and Kevin discuss the votes from last week, and now David is actually thinking that Kevin flipped the vote. But here's what makes me super excited. A little tiny glimmer of hope. So, Tyler and Christmas discuss how they want to reveal to Devon that Nicole was the one that flipped the vote. Can you please do that for me and for everyone else in the Big Brother community? That would be amazing. A bomb needs to be dropped on Nicole and Danny, I'm over them. I am so over them, as well as Memphis. Hello, the committee. Bye. Devon is trusting so much of what Danny is saying, but Danny will cut her as soon as she sees the fit opportunity to do so. Kevin has this grand idea where he wants to try to intimidate Memphis into 
forcing Tyler to use the veto. Who can intimidate Memphis? It's intimidating just thinking about intimidating Memphis. Is it just me or is this ridiculous that Kevin and Davon try to talk to Tyler to convince him to use the veto so Memphis will end up putting up David? They are turning on their only person that they could possibly use that could be in an alliance with them. They're shooting themselves in the foot. They're going to go home next week. What is wrong with these two? <clears throat> Here's what is so annoying, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just going to read it to you. Davon and Danny discuss a plan to get Tyler to use the veto. Dave says she could tell him David wants Tyler out for what he did to Bailey. And Danny says she likes where this idea is headed because Tyler already is worried about how he is looking with the Bailey situation. And Davon isn't sure how to play it because she doesn't want to get too dirty with it. See, Devon is having these conversations with Danny. Like, what are you doing, Devon? Is Danny that good at manipulation? Is she really that good at manipulation? But what's interesting about this is that I'm hoping that this will backfire on Danny because the other house guests that are aligned with her, for example, Cody, they are seeing through this. They're starting to put two and two together and I hope that it'll backfire right in her damn face. So, but you guys, the thing with Danny is that she's so shady and she's the one that's spinning my head in circles and I'm not even in the damn house, okay? To me, that's how villainous Danny truly is. She says to Cody, if I give you this one to get Day out this week, will you get David out next week? Davon is seeing Danny fighting for her, but in the wee hours of the morning when she's talking to Cody, she's willing to cut Davon easily. And that is where Davon is kind of being a little bit ridiculous in a sense that like, David has no one. Sit down and have a real conversation with him. No matter how mad you are, no matter how emotionally charged you truly are, sit down and have a real conversation with David. As much time as you're giving Danny, you should be giving David the same amount of time. David has no one. Danny has everyone. So, Davon, you're screwed. If you're putting all of your faith in Danny, you're screwed. You guys, if Davon goes home this week, we'll see that Davon made the biggest mistake by putting all of her faith in Danny. So, what I want to leave you guys with right now is that <laughs> I'm going to talk about Christmas. Christmas is going to be an interesting one. I think in one of my episodes, I told you that it's going to be an all-guys season, and I really truly believe that it will be, because Christmas is like a guy. I have said that in my prior episodes, and I still stand strong on the fact that Christmas acts like a dude. She is up Memphis's butt. The reality of the situation is, Christmas goes and tells Memphis everything that Nicole and Danny are doing. And in my last episode, I told you that Memphis was going to take Enzo and Cody to the final three. Well, Christmas is involved in that as well, just so you know. So keep all of that stuff in mind. You guys, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about Devon's game? Also, you guys, who do you think is going to be going home this week? Do you think it's Devon? Do you think it's Kevin? Or do you think that David is going to be backdoored? In the meantime, you guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys on Friday. But if something new happens that's wild and crazy or super controversial, we will touch base with you prior. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.